CMP Starcaster, second generation. Controls on the new system, the reset, the stop, the start, the coil drop, and the pyrometer spot remain on the front panel, along with the coil lift lever and the main power switch. The new controller is a software-based PLC that allows you to make all the necessary adjustments to the machine. We're going to turn on the power and show you the boot sequence. The controller, temperature controller, and the casting machine controller both boot up. Over here, we have our three parameters. We've got our soak time, our acceleration on the centrifuge, and the melt power. These are all adjustable by scrolling through with this button here. Pressing in, and you'll notice that above each parameter, the LED lights up, and this allows you to adjust the given parameter up or down, in this case the power setting. Down here we have manual mode, semi-automatic mode, and fully automatic mode. These can be accessed by holding in the status, to play, uh, status display button until the parameters down here begin to blink. At that time, you can adjust and select which parameter you want. In our case, we're gonna leave it down at fully automatic and enter it in. Other displays on here, you have your ready light, which, which tells you that all of your faults are in good shape. You have your latch light, which tells you that you're either melting or casting, your soak light if you're soaking, and when you're centrifuging, the centrifuge light. Above here, there's two other lights up here, an error light and a cover open light. The system will not melt or cast when the cover is open. So if we crack the cover, you'll see that that light illuminates and indicates to the operator that the cover is not completely closed Temperature controller operates same as before. We arrow up or down to our select temperature, in this case 2750 for the chrome cobalt. We have four ingots loaded into the crucible in the system. And what we're going to do is prepare to melt. If the operator, in this case we have the coil in the down position, if the operator loads up his arm, is ready to go, and proceeds to melt, but the coil is not in the up position, he's going to get an error indicated on the display saying low, which means the coil is low. Depressing the stop reset button, We'll remove that. We then move out using the coil lift lever. The machine is now ready to melt. We're going to depress the melt switch now. And you can see that the display indicates that the unit is melting by ramping up on the display. The actual power delivered to the load here is being shown. And the process begins to rise.
the unit will go up to set point and then soak for, I believe we have it set for 9.4 seconds for soaking. And you can see the soak timer timing down. The unit drops and spins. The machine indicates that it is centrifuging and this is the countdown timer indicating how much time is left before the unit shuts itself off automatically. The unit automatically adjusts itself down to 50% centrifuge power after approximately four seconds. Unit sets itself off and is ready to go again. We have our casting.